Oh, how delicious. My holiday drink. Hi, I'm Dana Rose Crystal with my report on Starbucks. I chose this brand not only because I personally enjoy it, I also respect it. Starbucks is a multi-billion dollar company, but it does not rest on its laurels and gives attention to updating and changing whatever is needed, be it fresh content, social listening, diversity and employment, and thoughtfulness to the diverse customer base and community. Any company can learn from how Starbucks takes ownership of mistakes and corrects them and growing in the process. Starbucks' official site is dynamic in that it is updated as needed with its fresh content above the fold. Its usual color scheme is green and white with splashes of other colors for holidays. Recently, the brand celebrated its 50th anniversary with stories posted linked from the main page, which also linked to videos on YouTube and a page with a game for members called Starland, which included trivia about its original Pike Place store in Seattle, its new roasting venue in Costa Rica, and its newest store in Chicago. To pump up more engagement and call to action, they brought back a five-day period of extra star rewards for members. The Starbucks official site is very effective with store locators and its mobile app allows orders to be placed for pickup at either a drive through or at the counter. Most of the stores managed to adapt during the recent COVID crisis to pick up and even turned it into an advantage that they have kept. The pickup orders allow the stores to more swiftly move customers through the line faster, thereby serving more people and netting more sales. The official site is excellent for retaining loyal customers with its many rewards programs and easy-to-load gift cards and email alerts for Starbucks runs. They have a community connection page with people of diversity, likely inspired by incidents in the past where there were complaints about bigotry at certain franchises. And they partner with celebrities such as Lance Bass enjoying Starbucks at home. The combination of all these site pages and content is to portray Starbucks as a caring company that wants its consumers happy in their whole lives and to run a sustainable, accountable company that listens to and to be responsive to its public and responsible for this planet. We can also gauge the effectiveness of the SEO. According to SEOSiteCheckup.com, Starbucks.com is doing very well with an SEO score of 87 to 100. It passed 44 of the SEO tests, only failed six, and had two warnings. On the negative side, it has no cache headers for JavaScript and CSS resources, which could speed up serving of web pages. It uses inline CSS styles instead of external CSS style sheets, which is a time saver in making changes to multiple pages. On the positive side, the website uses a meta title tag and meta description tag and keywords and meta tags, which help search engines properly identify the topic of the page. There's a robot text Text file and a sitemap file. All the image tags have an alt attribute and passed the backlinks test and connected successfully with social media for making working links and doesn't use HTML deprecated tags, no severe JavaScript errors, and most important, it uses Google Analytics. Typical Starbucks customers come in every demographic, but we will focus on only one. Marissa, 20 years old, college student who works part-time at a theme park. There are Starbucks stores at her workplace as well as her college. She usually drinks Starbucks once or twice a day, except during exams and critical homework sessions. What gets her to buy more often? Fun and novel drink recipes. She is a prime candidate for the latest social media ad Starbucks has created. She loves social media, engaging in it for three to five hours per day on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Starbucks has accounts and ads on each of these. Most of these ads have consistent content with some original ads just for that channel. For instance, the LinkedIn content targets potential employees with its focus on a great work environment that is inclusive and celebrates diversity, such as the hearing impaired employees and the Native Americans. Facebook has videos and photos of team members and patrons in costume for Halloween and much engagement of fans, which Starbucks reposts. 
Twitter and Instagram have several accounts for Starbucks, including one for their secret menu with drink recipes and ordering instructions. TikTok is the latest channel with influencers, hashtag challenges, and reviews of limited time only recipes. What if I could direct Starbucks as to how and where to spend $1,000 for a digital ad? The main thing is to direct the ad toward the audience for that channel. Are we targeting the millennial and Gen Z generations? TikTok would be the way to go. Display ads are only one ad method for TikTok. If Starbucks wanted to do a hashtag challenge, the engagement advantage would reduce the actual cost. Starbucks would direct some of that $1,000 toward prizes for the winners, or repurpose display ads on Google for a more general audience. Five suggestions to help Starbucks improve its, its media presence. To offer suggestions would only be gilding the lily, so I offer only a few. Keep engaging the younger customers with TikTok advertising, with influencers, and hashtag challenges. Don't leave out the older fans. Reduce the number of star points needed to redeem rewards. Customers would increase business, not reduce it, if rewards were more easily attainable. Fine-tune email advertising to personal preferences and what customers really want in a Starbucks run, instead of the same old products. Facilitate customers paying forward by helping them to buy a drink for a random person. Already, many people spend Sundays and other days paying for a poor person's meal and drinks. This would borrow Coca-Cola's idea of buying the world a Coke, currently used at vending machines all over the world. And always innovate by doing social listening and being open to ideas. A successful company never stops learning.